Hello viewers. Here are two SMC fans. These are both part of the TH series. The one on the right is a 12 inch model and the one on the left is a 16 inch model. It's said that the motors are the same in these fans and that would certainly offer some explanation as to why the 16 inch one is so underpowered and doesn't seem to have a very long lifespan. However, those sayings are purely mythical. I have not found any concrete evidence that either supports or denies that claim. So today I'm going to take apart both fans on video and we are going to see what kind of motors are in these fans. So we'll start with the 12 inch one. These are, are fairly easy to take apart. Completely toolless removal of the guards and the blade. And fairly easy cleaning as far as the average user is concerned. Now I do want to say that neither of these fans have very powerful motors because these are very lightweight blades. It takes absolutely nothing to turn them. The only factor here is the air resistance. So I don't think this motor is all that powerful to begin with, especially compared to something like a, uh, you know, a translucent blade Galaxy Lasco fan or, or this such. So anyways, get this unscrewed and then we'll be able to take a look at the motor. We have four screws on the front here and these clip things are a little bit annoying. And I'm looking at the shaft here and I'm seeing that the fins are kind of bent and I'm not really sure how that would have happened. It's only a plastic blade, it doesn't seem like we even have the capacity to physically do that, but whatever. Alright, so now we have to take a small screwdriver and insert it kind of like this and then pull the this piece over the tab. relatively easy to do but it's not my favorite design okay and you can see it's a relatively cheap kind of motor in these things the oscillation mechanism is held on by a screw There's no screw in the back so this is ready to just slide right off so here's the motor on the 12 inch fan. It's not a bad size, you know, it's relatively large for a 12 inch fan. I would say it's a pretty good size. Um, we're looking at a 3 microfarads capacitor. So let's get into this 12 inch one here, which I can only imagine disassembles the same way. And let's see what kind of motor is inside here. Now, I've never serviced this fan before, so whatever dust is in here is probably original. I don't think this was used very much at all. And this blade also is very lightweight. So again, it's just a factor of air resistance on the motor. And it looks like uh, we're going to have the same design here as far as those clips. This one is in much better condition. I don't think this has ever been taken apart before. Now, I can already see there's at least something different about this motor. So I think the myth is going to be busted, but I've got to take a few more screws off to be certain. I can see there's some vents here which are not present on the other one. Now, of course, there's the possibility that they added the vents so that the air can flow out because it's getting too hot because it's too small, or it's an entirely different motor. And my hand has suddenly become covered in oil. I guess there is oil on the shaft. Where did that screwdriver go? So 
a lot harder to get off than the other one was. Here we are inside the motors, and uh, well, <laughs> there you have it. They're the same size. This is a three microfarad capacitor. This is a four microfarad capacitor. So the motor is the, the the capacitor rather is bigger only by one microfarad that's not a huge difference um, let's see here this one has a, a date code of 98 on the bottom and it says 98 on the sticker there this one does not have a date code on it but it says 96 so it's possible this one's a little bit older to 033004. I'm not sure what that number means. On the top of the motor, we have um, no correlating information that I can see. You know, quite frankly, I think. Now, I don't know if, if these vents were just a later design or if it's a different motor. I'm looking at the windings from what I can see and they appear to be pretty much the same. Well, let's do this. Let's take the blades and change them out and see how they perform. Now I don't think the 16 inch blade is going to fit on the 12, but the 12 should certainly fit on the 16. Shaft sizes are the same. Now the motors don't have the same current draw. Oh, this is going to fit. Uh, the 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 old one here, or I say the old one, the 12 inch one, is a 20.25 amp draw, and the the 16 inch is a. 0.45 I want to say and I don't know why this is not going on the shaft it doesn't make any sense because that would be saying that the, the bigger blade has a smaller shaft so the plastic is kind of indented there for some reason This motor's been serviced, so the spin down time is a lot better. All right, let's start off with the with the 16 inch with the 12 inch blade. I don't think that's going that much faster than it normally would on a 12 inch motor. Now I'm not as familiar with the 16 inch blade, but let's let's test that one and see how that one behaves. This to oscillate either. Okay.
That seems pretty comparable to what it was doing before. Swap it around and so it's the way it should be. Here is the other cord. Why does it get stuck on there? I think it actually moves more air on this one. Oh, you know what else would be an interesting test? The kilowatt meter. Let's see what the power draw is. Because of course if there's more load on the motor, it's going to draw more power. So let's see if the power rating follows the blade side. Oh dear, I forgot to put the, this thing on. I don't think it would come off, but... I risk it. Got the wrong with the envelope. It's going to come a lot here. Alright, so this is the 12 inch blade on the 16 inch fan, supposedly. That's pulling 0.37 amps. Oh, that's not even on there. That's pulling 0.37 amps. And it's claimed to pull 0.45. So that was 37. Let's put it on here and see what it does. This fan is rated for uh, 0.25. That was 37. Point twenty-eight. So it is. It is drawing a little bit less power on this smaller motor. So let's try putting the bigger blade on the smaller motor. I don't know why this is not. The height adjustment has not worked properly on this thing for a long time now. One day I'll get that fixed. 0 0.35, 33. Whoa. That's 0.32. Okay. So it does draw more power with this blade. Although it doesn't seem to be a substantial increase. Let's try it on here now. Point 0.40. So interestingly enough, the switch from the smaller blade to this blade is only a 0.03 amp draw increase. So it's almost like for whatever reason, this blade doesn't put all that much more of a, a load on the motors. Thirty with no blade. 
Um, the blades are, are pretty comparable as far as pitch. I would think this one would would uh, cause more resistance, but well, anyways, that's kind of interesting. I guess short from splitting the motors apart, can't really tell for sure. It, it definitely seems like they're they're a similar size, though. I mean, physical physical size and shell, they're definitely pretty much the same. Let's take a measurement of the stator here. That's about three inches. That's about three inches as well. So the stators are definitely the same size. And I mean, you can see for yourself, they're pretty much the same size motor. However, the larger one does have more air vents in it. Um, yeah, that's really the only identifiable difference. The weather is pretty much exactly the same, so physically larger capacitor and one more microfarad on this one but other than that I, I can't really tell the difference so are they the same motors? I, I think more or less they are the same motors which uh, explains a couple of things <laughs>